Three years ago, I published a video covering how to extract text between two delimiters in Excel. For example, I want to extract the domain name theexceltrainer.co.uk from this string, where it's between slash slash and slash. In that video, I covered two ways to do it, a long-winded formula and Power Query. However, since that video was released, Microsoft have released two functions text before and text after. And these will make it much simpler. If you're using an older version of Excel and you don't have these functions, check out the original video. I've put a link in the description below. In column A, I have a list of fictitious Excel related articles and blog posts hosted on fictitious websites, or at least they were fictitious at the time of recording. So apologies if you registered one of these domains. You can see that some of the URLs have subfolders, some have sub subfolders, and for some, the post name is directly off the domain name. I've been asked to extract the domain name from each URL. In other words, simplyexcel.com, spreadsheetmaster.net, etc. And to do it, I'm going to combine text before and text after. Rather than dive in with one formula, let's break it down and look at these two functions separately, starting with text after. In B1, I've typed equals text after A1 and then two slashes in double quotes. And this means extract everything from A1 that is after the slash slash. What if the cell contained multiple instances of slash slash? By default, it will assume that you mean the first instance, but the function includes an optional argument that lets you specify which instance you want to use. I've copied the formula down, and now each cell in column B contains everything after the first occurrence of slash slash. To extract the domain, I can use the text before function. In C1, I've typed equals text before B1 and then a slash in double quotes. This means extract everything from B1 that is before the slash. If the cell contains multiple instances of the slash, it will assume you mean the first occurrence. But like text after, text before includes an optional argument to specify which instance you want to use. I've copied the formula down and now each cell in column C contains everything before the first occurrence of the slash in column B. Now, rather than doing it in two steps and using two columns and having twice as many formulas, which will make the file bigger, I can create one column of formulas combining both functions. And I've done that in column D. And this is the function I've used. So what's this doing? Well, let's work from the middle outwards, as I often do when I explain functions that have been combined together. It's extracting everything after the slash slash, and then it's taking that string and extracting everything before the first slash from it. And that's it. I hope the video helped you out. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.